Hello and welcome to episode 2 of the Chemcast. Today, George Strompolompolis is not with me, but I am still here to talk about 2,4-dinitrophenol, also known as DNP. So 1,4-dinitrophenol, it's found in a solid state normally. Uh, it's a yellow crystal caused by the nitrogen branch groups in it, and it releases a sweet, musty odor. The drug is dissolved in alkaline solutions along with alcohol, chloroform, and acetone. When heated, the drug will create toxic nitrogen oxide and can become explosive if exposed to ammonia. So the formula for our drug is C6H4N2O5. It has a density of 1.68 grams per cubic centimeter, a melting point of 108 degrees Celsius, and a boiling point of 113 degrees Celsius. So there's only 5 degrees there where it's actually going to be a liquid. It goes very quickly from being a solid to a gas. So our dinitrophenol was first developed in the early 1900s, but it wasn't used as a weight loss mechanism at that time. That wasn't until 1931. Originally, DMP was used in TNT as an ignition agent because it is quite volatile. Um, later, people who had been in contact with it began, began to realize that they had, there was this weird effect on their bodies. Um, it was causing them to lose weight. And some people, whoever it was, decided to ingest some of it and realized, oh, it's causing fevers, feverish symptoms, um, but it is making you lose weight. And what's happening there is that the DMP is going into your cells and it is um, taking, allowing the electrons to pass through the, elect the gradient without producing ATP during um, the electron transport cha chain, the fourth step in cellular respiration. And what's this, what is happening is that this means that each glucose molecule, or each fat molecule, or each protein molecule that your body breaks down to turn into energy, less energy than what should be coming out is coming out. And because of this, what's happening is your body is doing more and more and more and trying to, and burning more and more fat in order to create enough energy to keep it running. At the moment, there are no antidotes for uh, DMP, but it is also something that you're not just going to come in contact with for no reason. It's something that you will be purposely ingesting in order to lose weight. Um, it's very bad for you. In fact, the DEA has banned it. It's not, you're not allowed to um, take it anymore because a lot of deaths were caused. And the reason for this is that there was no regulation on how much you were able to take. And the more you take, the hotter your body gets, um, the less ATP you're producing per um, fat or glucose protein. And this is causing... Um, people's bodies to just shut down if you take too much of it. So there's no antidote to it other than just avoid um, ever ingesting it. And that is it. 1,4-dinitrophenol. You are not allowed to have it. It's banned by the DEA. Um, it's not good for you in the first place. You shouldn't be taking drugs to help you lose weight. It generally doesn't work in the long run anyway. You end up putting on more weight afterwards. But if you want to hear more about that, Come back next week for our next episode of the Chemcast. See you later.